Right, it's the 18th of February 2021 and I was going to come up here earlier but it started to bucket down like hell. Anyway, it eased off, I went up the shop, get some electric and some food. Then it was turned out so nice, I thought, I don't want to sit in the flat. Because um, I had the jab a week ago, I also, before I had the jab, I went on a bus. I had to, because it was quite a way to go. And there were some naughty people on the bus, not wearing masks, a whole lot, whole load of them, causing trouble as well. So I, I, I've had the chills and aching limbs. I know it can be a side effect of the jab, but I also think, could I have picked something up on that bus before I even had the jab? Now, when I woke up, I was itchy all over. Then I, my nose started to stream, and it's been streaming all day. And I feel like hot and cold. Uh, joints have been aching a bit this week. Anyway, what happened next? Um... Yeah, so I took antihistamine, paracetamol, just to knock it on the head a bit so I can get out. And even now I've had to blow my nose several times. But I'm up in the wood, I'm getting some fresh air. Hold on, someone coming. It's not going to be easy, we have a lot of people about. Anyway, I felt like I had a cold, really. Um, really hot, sweaty. Um, and I, have, I mean, normally I keep my hat, scarf and gloves on. But I've had to, I didn't even come out of the house with them on. I've got them in my bag, of course. But I was up here the other day doing the lower west north side to try and get some images of the, the fort from down that way. And also to see how the clearers are progressing or de destroying, whichever way you want to look at it. So I've, do I've come out again. I thought, no, it's, we've got several hours of really nice weather. Um, the problem is, if I'd gone through the wood like I quite often do, it's very, very muddy and slippery. Um, it's got worse because a lot more people are walking in the woods now because no one's, there's loads of people off work. You know, it's locked down. The kids aren't at school. The place is overrun now. The pathways are muddy. Um, so I thought, no, I'll just skirt the wood, go down the bottom bit where the clearing has started. Here's a big old tree at junction point, this one. It looks it's asleep at the moment, but it is beautiful when it's in bloom. I've sat on here a few times, had a bit nick. Uh, you know, drink of water in the heat. I come up here all year round, of course. But um, without, like, proper footwear on, there's no point going down on the lower path when it's like this, because it's absolutely quagmired. There was heavy rain all night yesterday, so I thought, no, I'll just, I won't do a, a massive walk round. I'll keep on the main tracks, just so I don't have to, you know, get muddy. Although I might do in a minute if I see something. Um... But of course, you've got to be aware, I know it's still cold and it's winter, but the ticks do live in this undergrowth, you know, where the deer probably roam. And it was sort of February, Marchish when I got that really bad attack of something a couple of years back. And I picked up limes. I proved positive for Lyme's disease. Anyway, that was really bad. That's the worst I've ever been, I think, with anything like that. So, uh, I'm hoping that they're 
not waking up yet. Because they do like to be above a certain temperature. Um, above 9 or 10 degrees. Well, it's probably like that at the moment. So the possibility of ticks is increasing each day. And we might even get up to 16, 17 degrees um, over the weekend in some parts of the UK. <sighs> the weather of the past 12 months has been extremely noticeable for the change. For the change. <sighs> you know, we're getting like, not tropical, but we're getting lots of wind and rain a lot. Uh, we're not getting those nice crisp frosty days that I'm used to and you can go out, wrap up, have a good walk, you know, and you don't have to think you're going to get wet. So I'm just going to go down this path all the way down to the bottom towards Burnbeck Pier actually. Yeah, so it won't be, what I'm looking for is more when we get up towards the fort end. Well, they're trying to clear that area. That's what they're trying to do. Right, over and out for a minute. Continuing on from the video, I'm going down the main track which leads down to the Burnbeck Pier end of town. You can get up into the wood, all this. Um, now the idea is to keep an eye on these trees now because a lot of us believe that these are under threat. These trees here. I think there's somebody coming, typical because I've put the video on. It might be going downhill though. Yeah, so we'll keep an eye on all this because this is all part of the fort, don't forget still, and they might want to clear all that. There's pits. These could be dugouts used by the army, don't forget, in the World Wars. I need to dig up the history of that. Um, but if I think what they'd want to do is clear the lot. They want to expose the whole fort and all the little vallums and all the little barricades and stuff. There's somebody coming. It's true. I'll have to turn off in a minute. Yeah, I'll have to turn off. That's very muddy. Right, turn off for a minute. Back on again. That was only a minute video because people coming. A lot of people now will be heading home. Once it starts getting to about three or four, um, a lot of people have parked quite a long way up and they've got to walk all the way back. Um, what's the time now? Yes, yeah, ten to four actually. Time's gone fast. But like I say, I'm going down. I should be going down on the seafront. Um, I'm just going to keep an eye on what they're doing as I go down. Um, like I said, there's been an awful lot of rain overnight, absolutely horrendous rain overnight, so... But you can get an idea of some of the wood. Like I say, birds will be going around picking up twigs, making their nests. Now, they'll be doing it now. 
they start making their nests. It's very, very slippery here. Once we get past this bit, it won't be so bad. Like a quagmire. It always has been. But it's, it's, it has increased because of people, more people. But the branches help. They really do. And yet they'll come along with an axe and chop all this sort of stuff, don't they? And what happens when they do that? The path widens. Every time they start chopping all these bushes down, the path gets wider. There we go. Still, still, you still got to be on guard. Coming up to the hill fort now. The steps will be just along here going up. But I'm not going up. Because, you know what, I feel better already just being out. I knew if I stayed in the flat with the sun coming beaming through the lounge window, um, even though I've got the windows open, oh, there's someone else coming now, I would have been... Um, suffocating and I would have felt awful so there's one of these ditches that they talk about here look and it goes on down that way these are all to do with the defense various ditches there's someone else coming now oh do you know what you hardly honestly you hardly saw anyone in the past in winter oh I'll have to turn off again in a minute. Some rooks have got their nests around here. Lovely trees with the mosses on them. Lovely trees. Yeah, I can see that nest. There's a nest up there. Yeah, so that's a... That's either a raven or a rook's nest. Up there. I seen a bird on it last time I was there. It's well done, that one. Could be a crow. Right, over and over.